Elvis Aaron Presley was born on January 8, 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi to Vernon Elvis Presley and Gladys Love Presley in a two-room shotgun house that his father built for the occasion of his birth. Elvis's identical twin brother, Jesse Garon Presley, was delivered stillborn 35 minutes before him. Elvis became very close to both parents but formed an especially close bond with his mother Gladys. The family attended an Assembly of God church, and it was there where he found gospel as his initial musical inspiration. Elvis's father, Vernon, was of German or Scottish origin. Through his mother, Elvis was Scotch-Irish, with some French-Norman ancestry. His mother Gladys and the rest of the family believed that her great-great-grandmother, Mourning Dove White, was Cherokee. This was confirmed by Elvis's granddaughter Riley Keough in 2017. Elaine Dundee, in her biography of Elvis Elvis and Gladys, supports that belief although one genealogy researcher has contested it on multiple grounds. Gladys was regarded by relatives and friends as the dominant member of the Presley family. Elvis Presley is one of the most significant cultural icons of the 20th century and is referred to as the King of Rock and Roll. His celebrity status and worldwide fame as a singer, musician and actor was such, that he is also known simply as Elvis. Elvis's incredibly energized interpretations of songs of a wide array of music genres from rock and roll, pop, romantic ballads, soul, gospel, and his sexually provocative performance style, led him to both incredible success and initial controversy. Elvis Presley relocated to Memphis, Tennessee with his family when he was 13 years old. Elvis's music career began in Memphis in 1954, where he recorded songs at Sun Records with producer Sam Phillips, who wanted to bring the sound of African-American music to a wider audience. Elvis sang and played rhythm acoustic guitar, which from then on became the instrument most associated with rock and roll. This music was the pioneer of rockabilly, an up-tempo, backbeat-driven fusion of country music and rhythm and blues. In 1955 RCA Victor acquired Elvis Presley's contract in a deal arranged by Colonel Tom Parker, who would manage him for more than two decades. Under Colonel Parker's guidance, Elvis began a series of successful network television appearances at NBC, The Milton Berle Show, and The Steve Allen Show, and at CBS, The Ed Sullivan Show, where because of his sexy gyrations while singing he was labeled, Elvis the Pelvis, and was filmed from the waist up because of moral restraints at the time, and with his chart-topping records, he became the leading figure of the newly popular sound of rock and roll. 1956 was a pivotal year in Elvis's career. On January 10, Elvis Presley made his first recordings for RCA in Nashville, where he was joined by the popular Jordanaires Quartet. This session produced the moody, unusual, Heartbreak Hotel, which was released as a single on January 27 and went on to become the number one hit in the United States. Colonel Tom Parker brought Elvis again to national television, booking him on CBS's stage show for six appearances over two months. The program, produced in New York, was hosted by big band leaders and brothers Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey. After his first appearance on the stage show on January 28, Elvis stayed in town to record at RCA's New York studio. These sessions yielded eight songs, including a cover of Carl Perkins' rockabilly anthem, Blue Suede Shoes. In February of that year, Elvis's I Forgot to Remember to Forget, a Sun recording initially released the previous August, reached the top of the Billboard country chart. RCA released Elvis's self-titled debut album, Elvis Presley, on March 23. In that album there were previous recordings from Sun Records, two country songs, a lively pop song and the other songs Elvis recorded would define the sound of rock and roll, Blue Suede Shoes, which was a vast improvement over Perkins' version, and three R&B tracks that had been part of Elvis's stage repertoire for some time, and were covers of black artists Little Richard, Ray Charles, and The Drifters. These R&B songs were in a way responsible in creating his sexy, gritty, rebellious and dangerous persona. Unlike many white artists who watered down the gritty edges of the original R&B versions of songs in the 50s, Elvis embraced and reshaped them to his incredible sound. Elvis not only injected these songs with his own impressive vocal style but also made guitar, not piano, the lead instrument. This first album, Elvis Presley, became the first rock and roll album to top the Billboard chart, a position it held for 10 weeks. 
While Elvis was not an innovative guitarist like contemporary black rockers such as Chuck Berry and the incredible Bo Diddley, cultural historian Gilbert B. Rodman argued that the album's cover image, of Elvis having the time of his life on stage with a guitar in his hands played a crucial role in positioning the guitar as the instrument that best captured the style and spirit of rock and roll, this new music. In November 1956, Presley made his film debut in the drama Love Me Tender which led to an impressive acting career with 31 feature films and two theatrically released concert documentary films. All his films enjoyed immense financial success if not critical success. On March 24, 1958, Elvis Presley was drafted into the U.S. Army as a private at Fort Chaffee, near Fort Smith, Arkansas. His arrival was a major media event. Hundreds of people descended on Elvis as he stepped from the bus, photographers then accompanied him into the fort. Elvis announced that he was looking forward to his military stint, saying that he did not want to be treated any differently from anyone else. The army can do anything it wants with me. Elvis commenced basic training at Fort Hood, Texas. During a two-week leave in early June, he recorded five songs in Nashville. In early August, his mother was diagnosed with hepatitis and died of heart failure at the age of 46. Elvis was devastated and never the same. The relationship with his mother had remained extremely close, even into his adulthood. They would use baby talk with each other and Presley would address her with pet names. After training, Elvis joined the 3rd Armored Division in Friedberg, Germany on October 1. While on maneuvers, Presley was introduced to amphetamines by a sergeant. He became practically evangelical about their benefits, not only for energy but for strength and weight loss as well. The Army also introduced Elvis to karate, which he studied seriously, and became a lifelong interest, which he later included in his live performances and films. Elvis donated his Army pay to charity, purchased TV sets for the base, and bought an extra set of fatigues for everyone in his outfit. Throughout his life he was extremely generous to friends, relatives and to many strangers. He was known to buy Cadillacs to people in need. While in Friedberg, Elvis Presley met 14-year-old Priscilla Beaulieu. They would eventually marry after a seven-and-a-half-year courtship which produced their only child Lisa Marie Presley. In her autobiography, Priscilla stated Elvis was concerned that his 24-month spell as a GI would ruin his career. But between his induction and discharge, Elvis Presley had 10 top 40 hits, including, Wear My Ring Around Your Neck, the best-selling, hard-headed woman, one night, in 1958, now and then there's, a fool such as I, and the number one hit, a big hunk of love, in 1959. RCA also generated four albums compiling old material during this period, most successfully Elvis Golden Records, 1958, which hit number three on the LP chart. Guided by Colonel Parker, Elvis proceeded to devote much of the 1960s to making Hollywood films and soundtrack albums, most of them critically derided. In 1968, following a seven-year break from live performances, Elvis returned to the stage in the acclaimed television comeback special, Elvis, which led to an extended Las Vegas concert residency and a string of highly profitable tours. In 1973, Elvis Presley gave the first concert by a solo artist to be broadcast around the world. That concert was the immensely successful, Aloha from Hawaii. With his rise from poverty to unparalleled fame, Elvis Presley's success epitomized the American dream. Elvis is the best-selling solo music artist of all time with an estimated more than 1 billion records sold worldwide. Elvis was commercially successful in many genres, including pop, country, R&B, adult contemporary, and gospel. Elvis won three Grammy Awards, received the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award at age 36, and has been inducted into multiple music halls of fame. Elvis Presley holds several records, the most RIAA certified gold and platinum albums, the most albums charted on the Billboard 200, and the most number one albums by a solo artist on the UK Albums Chart and the most number one singles by any music act on the UK Singles Chart. In 2018, Elvis Presley was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Donald Trump. Years of prescription drug abuse severely compromised Elvis Presley's health, and he died suddenly in 1977 at his Graceland estate at the age of 42.
His gravesite at Graceland is visited to this day by millions of fans from around the world. Elvis Presley remains to this day one of the most celebrated, mythical and significant icons of the 20th century. The Undisputed, King of Rock and Roll